Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel Hilo Pharmacology. In today's session, let us learn about alpha receptor agonist. So under alpha receptor agonist, you need to remember the examples for alpha receptor agonist, their mechanism of action, and what are the important actions, pharmacological actions, their therapeutic indications, adverse effects, and finally, will summarize the alpha receptor agonist. So coming to the examples for alpha receptor agonist, we have phenylephrine, xylometazolin, propyl exedrine, nefazolin, and oxymetazolin. Please remember the phenylephrine is given through oral route, whereas the xylometazolin, propyl exedrine, Nefazolin and oxymetazolin are given locally. So all these drugs are sympathomimetic in nature. Next moving on to the actions produced by these alpha receptor agonist. So as you can see in the picture, so it is a blood vessel. On the blood vessel, this alpha receptor agonist will going to cause vasoconstriction by acting on the alpha 1 receptor which are present in the blood vessels. So by acting on the alpha 1 receptor, it will going to cause vasoconstriction. So there will be vasoconstriction of the blood vessels on the nasal mucosa. Again, it causes vasoconstriction of the nasal mucosal blood vessels leading to vasoconstriction. So it causes nasal decongestion. Whereas on the eye, it acts on the alpha 1 receptor which is present on the radial muscle fibers of the iris. By acting on the radial muscle, muscle fibers of the iris, this alpha receptor agonist will, will cause dilatation of the pupil without any effect on accommodation. So please remember on the blood vessel it causes vasoconstriction. On the nasal mucosa it causes nasal decongestion. In the eye, it causes dilatation of the pupil without any effect on accommodation. So coming to the mechanism of action. So once you have administered the alpha receptor agonist, it will act on the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So after acting on the sarcoplasmic reticulum, it will going to cause release of the calcium. So subsequent release of the calcium will lead to increase in the calcium levels due to the subsequent stimulation of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So finally, the increased calcium will going to activate the contractile tissue or it will going to activate the contractile mechanism in the respective muscles. So coming to the pharmacokinetic property of this alpha receptor agonist, these drugs are given intranasally or topically in the eye. The plasma of life is around 3 hours, whereas the plasma of life is longer in case of elders. Next, moving on to the indication, that is the therapeutic uses of alpha receptor agonist. So, therapeutically, they are used as a nasal decongestant to relieve nasal congestion. And also, it can be used for ophthalmoscopy as it produces dilatation of the pupil. So these are the two very important indications of alpha receptor agonist. So moving on to the adverse effects profile of the alpha receptor agonist. It causes hypertension as we have seen that on the blood vessel it causes vasoconstriction leading to increase in the blood pressure. So in the patient who are having a risk for, for hypertension or who are already having hypertension you need to avoid these drugs. And also it can cause reflex bradycardia. So please remember the adverse effects of alpha receptor agonist or it will cause hypertension and reflex bradycardia. So coming to the summarization of the alpha receptor agonist. So you need to remember the examples. So the examples are phenylephrine, xylometazolin, nafazolin, oxymetazolin. So the actions are it will going to cause vasoconstriction of the blood vessels then it will cause nasal decongestion and 
the dilatation of the pupil without any effect on accommodation. So the mechanism of action is on administration of alpha receptor agonist, it acts on the sarcoplasmic reticulum leading to the release of the calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So the subsequent activation of sarcoplasmic reticulum will lead to increased levels of the calcium which in turn activates the contractile mechanism in the respective muscle fibers. So pharmacokinetic property it is given through intranasally or topically in the eye. It has a plasma of life around 3 hours. Clinically it is used as a nasal decongestant to relieve nasal congestion and also for ophthalmoscopy as it causes dilatation of the pupil. So coming to the adverse effects, it will going to cause hypertension and reflex bradycardia. So this was all about the alpha receptor agonist. So if you find this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel. I love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology. Thank you.